Hello, anyone? By myself? All by myself. Okay, I won't sing. Okay, so last, well, two days ago, Tuesday, I went live and I said I was gonna save it to my YouTube channel, but I didn't change my settings. Actually, I didn't know there were settings to change and I didn't get to save it and send it to my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna go over briefly what I went over on Tuesday and then talk about a few new things. Basically what I'm, I'm trying to do is, um, there are a lot of cookie people that do cookies out of their home. Me, I, that's where I'm at now, but I just recently signed the lease for a um, commercial shared kitchen and that's where I'll be doing my cookies from now on. So I'll be a legitimate, you know, business as far as, you know, health codes and, you know, not having to only sell to uh, farmer's markets, which is really hard to get into a farmer's market because they, you know, these experiences that I've had is that they tell you, we already have enough bakers. It doesn't really make any sense because can you have enough farmers at a farmer's market too then? But um, one of the things, I, I wanted to do was when I was first trying to become a business and I started in 2008, I was reaching out to other cookiers and you know, things have changed a lot since 2008. We've got Cookie Con, which is all about cookie community and learning. And we have lots of really good cookiers that are out there sharing what they know, like Angela from The Painted Box, um, Jill Weinstein, um, Ba uh, Sweet Hope, uh, Sugar Bell. There's just tons of, you know, ladies out there that are sharing what they know. Oh, and men too. Can't forget um, what is, uh, oh goodness, Sweet Mike. And you know, they're that that's you know they're sharing their creativity. But what I wanted to share was my experience of trying to go from a home baker to a commercial baker, and that's what this is about. I'm gonna try and post every semi-sweet. Thank you, Auntie Jenny Sweets. Yes, semi-sweet, Mike. Um, I'm gonna start, you know, trying to post regularly and update on what's going on with my business. I am going from a home business to, oh, let's back it up a little. I was contacted a few, it's been about six weeks or so, by a grocery chain, and they asked if I would be willing to um, work with them on a wholesale basis, and of course, you don't say no. So that's what kicked this into motion, getting into a commercial kitchen, because I have to be, I, you know, I can't work out of my home to in order to provide uh, wholesale cookies. They're asking for about 3,000 cookies a week. So I put an ad on Facebook looking for people and I found some really good people. Uh, Lissa, if you're watching or listening, that's you. And Christy, you too. But um, there's lots of hoops that I'm having to jump through and there are things that, you know, a lot of people, you see them go, you know, you get to know them when they're big, like uh, Sweet Sugar Bell. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been following her since way, way back when, when she was actually doing cookies from home and some horrible troll turned her into the um, health department and they shut her down, which I hope that that person sees the kind of um, success she has now because that is amazing that she went from being, you know, shut down and she didn't let that you know, kill her dream, she just went a different route. And it's been very, very good to her and very, very good to us because, you know, we get to follow her on her blog. We get the benefit of her cookie cutters, which I absolutely love. I use a lot of her cookie cutters. And I've also learned how to uh, Franken cookie from her using, you know, whatever cookie cutters I have and, you know, cutting them to the, sh you know, a similar shape to what I need so I can stop buying 50 million cookie cutters. It's kind of too late because I already have 49,999 cookie, million cookie cutters. I just don't have 50 million yet. But um, so that's what this is about, community over competition. I want to, yes, Neva, I stole that from you. Um, I want to be able to teach what I'm going through and maybe help others that are trying to do the same thing. I want to help pull people up with me, not, you know, step on them to get up. So. 
with that said, I had a little bit of a, a setback today. Um, I accidentally got an email from the grocery chain that wasn't meant for me. And while it wasn't really that bad, it did kind of sting a little to see it. And, um, you know, I just want to say that when you have a goal, no matter what other people say around you, no matter who they are, whether they're close to you, whether they're part of, you know, the um, company you're going to be working with, no matter what, you know, don't let them stop you. Um, <clears throat> What's really funny is I got an Ipsy bag. I don't know how many of you know Ipsy. It's, you know, pay $10 and once a month you get makeup samples, which if you see, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. But um, the card that came in the Ipsy said, um, the last Ipsy I got said, don't, something to the effect of, it's not who's gonna let me, it's who's gonna stop me. So that I'm applying to this situation. Hi, Kiona. Be safe driving. You better not be Instagramming and driving. Um, but um, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm not going to let her damper my dream. Maybe it won't work out with this company, but my dream is still gonna happen with or without them. It may not be, you know, exactly what I was thinking, but it's still gonna happen. I'm still gonna get there, and I'm still gonna bring everybody with me. So what that email was about was about nutrition labels. I, I actually have a nutrition label and I don't happen to have one with me right now. But you know, it's a standard, it says how many servings, calories, you know, nutritional breakdown, the ingredients, and then it has my website. And I had to send it to the grocery chain for approval and it didn't meet their standards. So we were talking about how to change my label and um, I didn't know that there was a difference between a retail label, which is like my product direct to a consumer, and a wholesale label. So I am going through that process right now of learning what the differences are and trying to make the changes for that. And I will be sure to bring everybody along with me. Right now, um, I know that there are a couple of companies out there that will help you. You know, you give them your ingredient list and they produce the labels that you need. It's a little costly. I looked at it last night. It was um, $1,000 for just one label. And what I mean by just one label is to give you the uh, in information for one label. So I'm not sure I'm gonna do that, especially if you know this wholesale thing isn't gonna happen, then I don't need to change my label. But if it does, then maybe I'll consider it. Um, there are so many things I didn't know about, like have, I didn't know you had to have a wholesaler's certificate, which you get through your state health department. And it's really easy, you fill out a form, you give some information, it, it's really not that big of a challenge, but it was something I didn't know about. Um, I strongly, again, strongly recommend finding uh, what, what I'm using is called an incubator kitchen or a shared kitchen. They have been super, super helpful. They, they even have some educational classes on going through the process I'm going through. It's just kind of expensive at the moment, but I am definitely gonna consider because it talks about finances and, you know, I wish it was an online class, but it's an actual in-seat class. So, you know, maybe there'll be somebody on here who can find something similar that's an online course. Um, I will remember to save this one to YouTube. And also, uh, for those of you that didn't get to see, on October 27th, my daughter Gina and I, Gina Galt, she's on here right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm calling you out, Gina. Her and I are going to be on Bake It Like Buddy, which is a baking competition that is on Discovery Family. And you're gonna have to tune in October 27th, 8 Central, 9 Eastern, and see how we did. Um, but I'm very excited about that because I'm hoping that that kind of exposure gives my business more business. So anyways, I am think I'm done. Uh, again, you know, if you have any questions, please reach out to me however you're connected to me. Or if you're not connected to me, why not? You should be connected to me because I want to help you. 
So again, you know, this is about community over competition. That's gonna be my mantra, community over competition. I want a community to come along with me because there is plenty of cookie business for all of us, plenty. So I guess that's it for now, everybody. Bye, see you Tuesday.